Kaepernick, which has hit close to home for ABC's George Stephanopoulos. Today, his Good Morning America co-host revealed that his daughter, who is fully vaccinated, has tested positive for COVID. Jim Murray has details. George Stephanopoulos is in quarantine today, absent from the set of GMA after his daughter tested positive for COVID. George is not here because his daughter, who is double vaccinated, has tested positive for COVID. He is quarantining in accordance with Disney protocols, and we certainly wish his entire family the very best. Both Stephanopoulos and his wife, comedian Allie Wentworth, had COVID back in April 2020. They have two teenage daughters, 19-year-old Elliot and 16-year-old Harper. It's not clear which of them has come down with the virus. Thousands of students are in quarantine after outbreaks in schools across the nation. Three weeks into Mississippi's school year, almost 12,000 students have tested positive, with nearly 29,000 now quarantined. Many schools are enforcing mask mandates, and tensions are rising. In Fort Lauderdale, a dad was arrested after cops say he pushed a student as he escorted his daughter into school without a mask. In California, Drew and Victoria Nelson were asked to leave their school for refusing to wear masks. When does it end? Their dad, Gary Nelson, recorded his conversation with the sheriff's deputy when he came to bring them home. It is our religious freedom that is at stake here. It's not an excuse. Um, it's truly a religious belief that we have. And in these tense times, a Texas dad who supports mask mandates was met with whoops and cheers when he stripped down to his boxers at a school board meeting. We follow certain rules for a very good reason. His point? That sometimes we have to follow rules, even ones we don't like, for the benefit of everyone. If you would mind putting your pants back on, that would be appreciated. Definitely a first. Meantime, the Biden administration is expected to issue an updated recommendation that booster shots should be given six months after the original second shot, as opposed to the previously announced eight months.